Recently on the LDS Bachelorette. My name is Katie Shaw. I was born and raised in Las Vegas, but I now live in Utah. <laughs> Hi, Katie! <laughs> <laughs> guys are naturally drawn to her, not just because she's so attractive, but because of her heart. It's going to be fun to see how she connects with the guys that we've selected for her date. Welcome back to Katie's journey in finding love. After meeting Eric P, Eric E, Zach, Dallin, and Chris, we had no idea how she was gonna choose master dates. But luckily, she figured it out. So, watching this first master date as she goes out with a true gentleman. Did sparks fly? Let's find out. What's my name? Where am I from? My name is Dallin Durbano. I'm from Layton, Utah, born and raised. I live in Salt Lake City right now. But I've lived here in Utah my whole life. My date today is Catherine Shaw. What am I expecting to get out of the date? A phone number. <laughs> I, yeah, I'd like to talk to her some other time too. I don't know. So how am I feeling right now? Uh, what impressed me about Katie? I'm feeling very warm right now. The sun is out, and uh, but I'm also very calm. Um, I'm very uh, excited to finally get to have a one-on-one -on -one date with Katie. Um, I feel great that she picked me, and so I'm feeling very good about that. I have uh, no worries right now. So, what impressed me about Katie? Definitely her spirituality. Uh, it was very clear from the get-go that that was the most important thing to her. Um, and it is to me too. And that's a rare thing, especially with, for someone as attractive and beautiful as she is. Um, I, I can't really explain why that is, but that's just been my observation. So to see that is an amazing thing. Um, and to see how the gospel is, you can just tell, is, is her core. That's, that's attractive to me, very attractive. Yeah, I am ready to go. Let's do this. My name is Katie and I'm from Las Vegas originally, but I now live in Utah. Okay, my date is Dallin and my first impressions of him were pretty good. He made a video that was, that was really funny. It pretty much copied my application video <laughs> to the T. He doesn't make it sound like he did it on purpose, but I'm pretty sure he did. And it was funny and cute. And he brought a puppy to our first meeting. Well, it wasn't a puppy, but a dog, a small dog which is always a good way to my heart. I love dogs. Um, he's super nice. I, I'm impressed. I don't really know what I want to get out of today, except that I just, I, I'm sure I'm gonna have fun. I know I'm gonna have fun. Dallin is a, a super fun guy, and I, I don't know. I just don't have expectations, except that I know I'm gonna have a good time. Why did I choose Dallin? I, I think, I feel like Dallin and I have a lot in common, and maybe it's premature to make that decision. I don't know, I don't know him, obviously. I spent a few minutes with him, but that's just the impression I got, that we actually have a lot in common, so. I am so ready to go. I couldn't be more ready. <laughs> I don't hear any Spanish in that. Because French is like spot, one of the most beautiful to... languages. Oh, let's see. Aside from Italian. Um, all I can say, I think I'm saying this right. Would you allez avec moi? Yeah. I think, oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's going good? I should say well. I'm an English major. It's going well. <laughs> so far, we went, well, we just went for a drive in a fancy Corvette, which is beautiful. And 
he helped me tie my scarf because I've never worn a scarf in a Corvette before. So, And um, now we have ridden the tram, this beautiful tram up at Snowbird, and we're about to have a picnic. So talked a lot about family um, and life's ambitions, what we want to be when we grow up. <laughs> uh, homeschooling was actually a big part of my life growing up, so the fact that Dallin has homeschooled was kind of, well, it was awesome, because, yeah, it's good to have something like that in common. If he tried to hold my hand tonight, I'd probably feel like it was premature. I tend to move rather slowly. I like to really know someone well before I hold hands or you know, express physical affection. Okay, what would I hope that we would do after riding a tram and having a picnic? Um, I don't know, probably hot cocoa sounds like the right thing to do afterwards, probably. <laughs> if he asks for my number, I will give it to him, yes. How's the day going? I think it's great. I think it's going very well. I it doesn't feel like a date, if that makes sense. Like, it just feels normal. Like, like it's just me and her and we're friends. We're just enjoying each other. Talking, getting to know each other, and everything you're supposed to do. It just, just feels natural, I don't know. It's just great, like that's exactly how I wanted this to go. So, it's perfect. Um, holy cow, she can speak Latin, or she's learning Latin. She loves to learn different languages. Um, I've learned she has a good sense of humor. Um, she's very level-headed, very balanced. Um, she's not overcritical or, uh, however, ra like. But neither is she rash or uh, crude. She's she's perfectly mild. I would say that sounds wrong, but like, it's not what I mean. Like <laughs> she's, she's like she's balanced. She she seems she like she's got that she's got a good head on her shoulders. She's balanced. Still a lot to learn though. Um, we're gonna go have a picnic now because she's starving, um, and I hope we can take uh, something from this that that we remember that we la that it will last that uh, is the start of something different, unique. Um, Something we can both look back on and, and laugh about and remember how great a time that was. Like, um, I'm hoping to learn more about um, kind of where she wants to go in life, um, kind of what her ambitions are. But yeah, still to come, I guess. Would I hold hands with Katie Shaw? Hmm, yeah. I, would I feel it's too early to hold hands on a first date. Yeah, that's just not my style. Um, uh, I want to feel like we're really good friends first and I don't want to rush it. Um, I have to be sensitive to what her pace is. Um, so for me, I'm a very affectionate person and holding hands would be quite natural. It's just something normal, like no big deal, but it might be something different to her so I have to be careful and be sensitive to that. So. But pff, would I hold hands with her? <laughs> you would. <laughs> if we did something after, uh, unexpectedly tonight, what would it be? Maybe just go get some hot chocolate, something simple. I don't want to overwhelm her. Um, and I don't want to keep her out too late either. I know it's, for me even, it's hard to date for that long. Um, you know, a date-a-thon, <laughs> like they used to be in high school. Um, that's not what I want, I don't want her leaving this feeling exhausted like oh like that was i i want to i want it to end uh just right and keep her wanting more okay let's go have a picnic huh
So how did the day go? What did I learn? How did I feel? I learned that Katie and I have a ton in common and uh, I felt great. Like, like I kind of said at the midway point, this was not, it didn't feel like a date. It felt like normal. It just felt like I was with my friend, just talking. Just, that's what I was hoping for. Like those are the best dates are the ones where it's just you and them. Just you, you together are the date and not the activity. Does that make sense? So that is that is definitely what I, I learned about Katie is that we get along very well. Oh my gosh, Kay, um, what did we talk about on our picnic? Um, we talked about <laughs> cooking <laughs> and did I cook a little bit, but I can make a few good things. Um, also talked about the spaghetti that I made for our picnic. Um, and we also talked about my family. My great-great-grandfather was from Italy and owned a spaghetti factory. So, and I love my Italian like heritage. And then we made wishes. We made paper airplane wishes and threw them up. And I think mine went farther, just barely, which means I get my wish. Sorry, Katie. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, you do not get to hear what my wish was. That is the cardinal sin I've been told by Miss Catherine Shaw because I asked her that same question and she wouldn't tell me. <laughs> well, now that I have her number, um, yeah, I think a third date is in line. Um, I, I, we, I, ha I had a great time and I would definitely be interested, but uh, I guess uh, she has to feel that way too. But I don't see why she wouldn't. I mean, this is just, we just had fun tonight. This was great. Um, it, it, if she didn't want a third date, I don't know, that would just be confusing. So, crossing my fingers, but yeah, I'd love one, it'd be great. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I think some hot chocolate is in order, actually. I might go take her to get some hot chocolate after this. It'll feel real, feel right to me to go get some hot chocolate. We'll see what she thinks, but. Okay, the date went pretty well, actually. I really enjoyed it. We had spaghetti and we looked at the fall colors from a tram, which fall colors are one of my all-time favorite things. And so it was, it was pretty good. Spaghetti is one of my comfort foods. Good feelings all around, it was good. Okay, so first we took a ride in a fancy, fancy convertible, which was fantastic felt like a movie star. And then we came to Snowbird and rode the tram up to the top and looked at the fall colors. It was beautiful. And we folded paper airplanes. I <laughs> do not know how to fold a paper airplane. I discovered, which is embarrassing because I can fold a paper crane, but not an airplane. And we made wishes on our airplanes and just and your wish would come true if yours went farther. So I, uh, I lost. <laughs> My wish will not come true. But that's okay, because he wished for world peace, so his ought to come true. Oh, the cell phone story. So basically, I was trying to trick Dallin into asking me for my phone number, so I pretended to lose my phone. Not really. Actually, I lost my phone and I panicked, and then he helped me find it. So he has my number now, but I would have given it to him anyway, so. I dated a lot when I was single, but started to wonder if I would ever find the right guy. The LDS matchmaker taught me a new approach to dating and set me up with Jordan. I hired the LDS matchmaker to help make dating fun again and figure out how to really connect with the kind of woman I was looking for. With their help, I started dating smarter and met my beautiful wife, Darlene. So if you're ready to make it happen, let us help you find the one.